This is Michael David Cobb Bowen for Cobb Vision. And you can't see me because, well, it's not about my face, but it's about my mind. Um, people have been talking about it on the blog recently uh, where I get my information. And so I thought I'd make a nice tour of my actual library so you can see. And I'll just go through it and this will help me as well. So uh, we're in my office bedroom and I have the Harry Potter, my Neil Stevenson, Anathem. Uh, those are my logs and my teddy bears for my kids. This is the technical library, Linux, regular expressions, corn shell, uh, MST, uh, T SQL, iPhone. I never really got to that. That was that was too tough. Uh, Java. I have. Can you see that? This lighting may be weird. Um, Tickle and TK, Java, C programming, the Kernigan and Ritchie classic, uh, some Java stuff, and JavaScript. Played with that in uh, 01. And Perl. Um, here, these are some of my actually texts from, um, from, from school. Oh, there's my art of strategy uh, when I went to, into Taoism. Um, <clears throat> I think those binders are some tax things, or maybe some notes from Xerox. Let's see. Yeah, so actually leadership through quality. One of the first ways I learned to be in the Deming School rather than the Hammer School of Business Reprocessing Engineering. Um, Booch, uh, there's the new open source book that I started reading last year. These are my old calculus books. Uh, that's German Life is a Quant because I always wanted to do the Wall Street uh, stuff and I'm getting close to that. Uh, some network stuff. Uh, there's my books unread from the UCLA uh, or the SC Festival of Books uh, with um, uh, Breitbart and, and Ricky J. Um, uh, let's see, Incomplete Education, I really like that because that gives me a, a high level overview. Uh, my Borges, uh, Kurzweil, uh, the dad's book, Scientist is a Rebel, that's Freeman Dyson, uh, that graphic design, uh, and Edge City, Joe Garreau, really uh, influential on me and my thinking about the city. These two books, Turing's Men and The Mind's Eye, uh, were what I read as a freshman back in 82 that kind of shaped uh, everything that I wanted to think about in computer science. Um, <clears throat> VB, Excel hacks, Python. I haven't really done much with Python. Ruby is going to kind of replace all my Perl uh, in time. Uh, there's, uh, let's see here, uh, Oxford Narrative Verse, PI Handbook, Denzel Principle from, from Jimmy Israel. rare one. Also these by Ed Rodlauer, uh, basically why I am a, uh, a gearhead from reading these books as a kid. Uh, Desolation Road, McDonald, uh, Strauss, and uh, Bachikalupai, uh, new science fiction that I started reading uh, from uh, when I uh, joined my new company. Uh, just a selection of DVDs. Obviously you know I love the spy stuff. Uh, Inception, Born Supremacy, Swordfish, Serenity, Firewall. Uh, there's Twelve Nights in Hollywood, Ella Fitzgerald. I got that for last Christmas. And, of course, I'm a big Futurama fan. And uh, these are just floppies and CDs. Uh, those are some of my bound journal uh, that I when I used to do that handwritten. So back from 1988, 92. Nothing else down here. Uh, my incorporation stuff. Um... <clears throat> Here's CDs. This isn't really about music, but for the record, there they are. That I, I at one time I had 600 CDs, and I gave a bunch to my sister. Um, so now it's time to go downstairs and look at uh, the library that I keep in the living room. And again, this is a fraction of my total library because I just don't have enough space in the house. Um, well, I suppose we should start uh, with this little one. This is a little stuff in the hallway that I have here. So, Levi Zell, Ian Banks, Snowfalling on Cedars, Arthur Miller, uh, more Borges, more Banks, uh, Derek Walcott Ameros. That was really fun. I used to sit on the uh, drive on the bus and rap that uh, out loud. Uh, P.J. O'Rourke, Navarion series, good stuff. 
I got to get that electronically. The Dostoevsky Chandler, I didn't read that. Ishmael Reed, wow. Yep. Uh, Nathan Glazer, we all multiculturalists. When I took multiculturalism more seriously than I do now, that was the book. Uh, McPhee, always loved McPhee. I uh, never read much of Ambrose. He was too dry for me. High Cotton, Daryl Pinckney. This is an existential book. If you want to know something about me as a person, this is the book that comes closest to describing what I'm like. Uh, Orson Scott Card, more Borges, a little bit of Bradbury. Silas Marner uh, is part of my recovery on English literature. There's Reconstruction. Um, uh, Randall Kennedy's first stuff out of Harvard. And, of course, I got the Xerox XNS architecture. Uh, the thing that should have taken over the world, except Apple did. A little Tony K, a little Baldwin, information in democratic processes, also dry. Also like Carl Rowan, always did. What do we got down here? Uh, Tony Morrison Jazz. I'm sure I read the hardback, not that little paperback. Uh, Steppenwolf, Walden, Richard II, you know, your classic stuff here. Passages is not me. That's the wife's, the, the spousal units. Um, Blake. And Gwen Brooks. Uh, let's see. There's my Kwanzaa book. Elin Harris, back when I was thinking about black literature. Uh, Malefe Asante, of course. Octavia Butler. Gloria Naylor. These were some of the first black literature I started reading when I stepped off the yuppie track in 1989. Um, Candide Voltaire. Yeah, that uh, reminds me of uh, an old girlfriend. Uh, Spock books. All right. And let's see what we have over here under the TV. Ah, these are from the spousal unit. So I don't know most of these except for Cecil Adams Straight Dope there. Um, Lord of the Flies, of course. That Sojourner Truth, I was going to jump into that, but that was too dry as well. So just, you know, standard stuff you got to have in the library. Oh, here's some of my vinyl. It's mixed up with... Uh, the spousal unit's vinyl, and we have an uh, old turntable here. Let's see here. Uh, these are books, a mix of hers and mine, mostly hers. Uh, that is the second class, uh, second class citizens, first class men. That was a book that I read uh, when I went to Bermuda in 91, or was it 92? Frugal Gourmet, Cook's American, my first cookbook. And some Harry Potter stuff, and Variant Shapiro, Information Rules, and more McPhee. And that's that for that little short bookcase. And these are the wife's cookbooks. I'll just... <coughs> quick scan. All right, let's see. We'll head to the living room. And these are the books, uh, well, here in the dining room. <coughs> We have our religious books. Um, most of these are by the spousal unit. I don't think I have. I haven't had a Bible since, you know, the old KJV with the zipper and the cross and the red letter edition. I should get another one of those and then put it in a dryer to make it look like it's really been used. Um, more CDs. This is a scholar's guitar that's busted like El Cabong. All right, here we go. Ah, picture of my mom and her sister. Isn't that cute? Um, <clears throat> these are the main books when you first come in the front door, right there, and you see the books that I have in my library that show my intellectual pedigree. Um, Karen Armstrong on the Buddha, Stanley Crouch, Meg Marker, Stephen L. Carter, Thomas Jefferson, Bio, American Invasion of Philosophy. These are all very important books to me, actually. Gerald Early, Speech and Power, uh, Stephen L. Carty, uh, L. Carter again on his ethics books, and uh, Dalai Lama, Brent Staples, um, and uh, Gwaltney, and the Grey Wolf Annual. The first. This is the book that got me started on multicultural thinking about that, uh, which was part and parcel of. The Closing of the American Mind and Cultural Literacy. All three of those books I read the same year. Uh, Day After Trinity, my fascination with nukes. Uh, Shelley, a little bit of that. Uh, Prentice Hall Guide to English Literature. You'll be surprised how many people don't know this stuff. And Gibbon, which I actually never really read. Um, 
my spy books, uh, Schneier, uh, Without Cloak and Dagger, Miles Copeland, um, Pentagon's new map, uh, Barn uh, uh, Overworld, America at Night, The Company, Secrets and Lies. Good stuff. <clears throat> um, let's see what we got here. Uh, Dawn the Decus, uh, Ishmael Reed, Shades of Freedom. That's actually the one that I read of these probably the most. Oh, well, Paul Johnson's Intellectuals. That was very important to me also back in 88. Uh, Lure and Loathing. Gerald, that's, I, I guess I have two versions of that. No, no, Speech and Power, Lure and Loathing. Uh, I didn't actually read the full Barack Obama book. And Clancy, Every Man a Tiger, uh, about sorties in the uh, Iraq War. Teeth of the Tiger, didn't read that. Uh, Ian Banks, DeLillo, Underworld, a great one. Ian Banks, Matter, a great story. Rushdie, Satanic Verses, I actually didn't do that very much, didn't like it so much. So some of the um, Bryn, T.S. Eliot, uh, those are the poems that my dad read to me when I was a kid. And then, of course, uh, some yearbooks and photo books and uh, the lovely couple. What do we have here? Ah, these are some serious books. Freeman Dyson, obviously. Uh, Bell Hooks. Uh, Black Dog, I don't know that one. Hurston, More Hooks, Sula, Kane by Gene Toomer, which is uh, a favorite of mine. Uh, Kofsky on uh, Coltrane. Uh, Alice Walker, read that one twice, I think. Chess Self Teacher, how many hours did I spend in that book? James Weldon Johnson, also a very good one. Blue Sign, I actually never read. And there's Jazz. And Himes, I couldn't finish because at the time that I read that, it just made me so angry I wanted to go kill people. Uh, so Yinka and Charles Johnson, a uh, great unknown artist. I love Charles Johnson. Very logical guy. He's like Tuvok. <clears throat> and uh, Foucault's Pendulum, American Mythologies, Cryptonomicon, Algebraist, uh, Harlot's Ghost, I started, but I really didn't finish it. I probably should. Watchmen, it's not actually my favorite book of all times. So these are mixed. And Hopkins is the poet that I probably identify with the most. And some references that we don't use very often, but are very important. And that is um, pretty much the literature that I keep around. This is Michael David Cobb Bowen for Cobb Vision. Peace.